Hello friends! You are on the FPV Time channel and today and today we are with my cat tell you how you can make the ambilight for you TV or monitor. Let's start! To make ambient lighting we need some LED tape on the WS2812 controller. And the simplest Arduino like Nano. It's important to have processor not worse than at Mega328. Links to all items in the description. So place your LED strip on the back of the TV or monitor. This is important to not bend the tape at this moment. Otherwise, something starts to fall off the tape. After we placed it uh, on the screen, cut off near the beginning or near the end, as you will be better. But you need to remember where the start of the tape and where the end. The signal wire from the controller is connecting to the start of the LED strip. If you connect it to the end of the tape, the ambilight will not work. So I advise you to solder the wire to beginning of the tape. And now we solder the power wires. By the way, when connecting a long LED strip it's better to supply power at least to several points. This is due to the fact that at the end of the tape there will be a large current losses. The tape will glow weaker and still warm up to you as a gift. So that's why I advise you to connect the power at least to three points. I connected a plus and a minus to beginning of the tape and separate power wire to the middle point. Now the strip is began to warm less and shine better. Well, now we have three wire power and signal which connects to Arduino. 12 volts to power the tape I advise you to take from your personal computer. If you have never taken it apart, uh, this is the best time to do it. There is nothing complicated. All yellow wires have a voltage of 12 volts. The red wires have 5 volts. And the black wires are ground. This is the best way to use special connectors. But I decided to use without connectors. Well, red in 12 volts, black to the ground. Also, it's better way to roll it with electrical tape. And now you can take how it works. Turn on your personal computer and the tape should start to glow. And now you can start working with Arduino. We just need to solder the signal wire to the 6 pin on the Arduino. You can solder it to any pin, but it's not easiest way. So friends, I made an archive for a complete control of firmware. Links to this in the description. Just extract this and you will see two applications. It need to be installed. Then go to the Arduino folder and open it. Open the sketch, which plays near called Adelaide. And here you can change the number of LEDs and specify the pin to which you soldered the LED strip. Connect your Arduino to computer and choose your board. In my case it's Nano. Processor and port number. Then click to download the sketch. That's all. Now go to the Ambilight application, which plays it on the desktop. I mean Ambibox application, which we have already installed just now. Now you need to select the device. In our case, it's satellite. Port the sixth. Number of zones. You need to specify how many LEDs you have connected. I have 98 pieces, but it only works with the number of zones 65. This is important to not forget select USB light, otherwise nothing will work. And now you can show the capture zones and arrange them according to your LEDs.
so I hope you like this video. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.